I don't. Listen to me. There is what is called Cross of Calvary. You might not know what it is. You might come from a Muslim background. You might believe in only Quran or whatever. I don't want to talk about that. But what I'm saying is, there is something called Cross of Calvary. When you believe in Christ Jesus, that cross, the efficacy in that cross, the potency of the act of that cross, the blood that is shed on that cross of Calvary, that blood will take over your problem. Yeah. No, you don't understand. I say the blood of Jesus Christ is capable of doing anything. Anything that you so desire, if you have surrendered all to Jesus Christ, what happened is this. Once you say, I surrender it all, he comes in and take over. Yes. Am I making sense at all? Yes. Because the reason why I am here is because I surrendered all. If I would have still been in the world selling drugs, I wouldn't be here talking to you. By now, six feet, I would have been down. You know my testimony. Seven of my best friends, they are all in the grave. I'm the only one alive among eight of us. I'm the only one. Why am I alive? Is it because I'm a good man? No, no not because I'm a good man. It's only because there's a price paid on the cross of Calvary. There was a price paid. Say, whosoever that come in, he will welcome. He said, turn to me, and I will turn to you. Return, I will return. If you forsake me, I will forsake you. Very simple. Christianity is very simple. Just turn away from crime, and I will come to you. A prodigal son will return home. Just come home, and I will come to you. I will give you the best cloak. I will give you the best chain, the best watch, the best ring. That's what Christ promised us. That one is called blessing that make rich and add no sin. I stand under this sun that is hitting me in this condition to read this Psalm 90. Where's my Bible that I had with me now? This Psalm 90, I'm going to read that out. Because of Ubiaja land. Oh, glorious God, you are God alone. You are God alone. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. My Jesus, you are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I know many of you were not here. Something just came up in my mind. Do you remember our song last time? How many of you remember the song that opened the eye of a blind man here? And where is that, my brother? Come, by the way, that the eyes got opened. Come over here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you remember him? How many were here? Not too many. Many of them have gone home, but some of them are still here that remember him. When his eye got open here, it was like those that dream dream. And people thought he was the man, but that's a big error. The man has no power to do that. It has nothing to do with me. It had to do with Jesus Christ. He got his sight. It wasn't up to two weeks or something. I got a phone call. He was released. He went home. With the wife, they called me. I was planning how they get them. I asked him, I want to bring, they've already arranged for a house. We paid for a house for him and some other prisoners that are coming over to Lagos to stay in Lagos and then start something. Even if it's handwork or taxi, something. Let's get them doing something. All of a sudden, he said that they are picking him back to Ubiaja prison. I said, what's the problem? It was all about the money. How, come speak loud, let them hear you. What was the problem? Why they come bring you back here? It was here? bench warrant then. Bench warrant. Yeah. So where they bring me, they, they have given me pay. Yeah. The problem there is now is um, short T. They said I needed one government worker and one house owner. Mm. So I've been able to get a, a house owner. But the government worker said I should give him 80,000. Did you hear that? You have to give somebody 80, that somebody 80,000 to stand for him. Yes. Uh, okay. So that is what uh, has been keeping me here. So, so yeah. the person that kept the, that have the house, Yes, I'm the owner, my father is the owner of the house, so, okay, so a friend the, stand for me with the house. With the house, yeah? Yes. Okay, then now the problem is just only person that will uh, stand and... Uh, yes. Unfortunately, our ministry doesn't stand for anything bell, and we can never do it. It doesn't matter if heaven come down, I won't do it. You know why I won't do it? 
we have a lot of work to do for our father. If I got arrested for that when devil is trying to cage me, then the work will suffocate. Because if I stand for him and he walk away, I will be step, step into Biaja for his sake and then who will do the work? So I don't do that kind of thing. But rather we do whatever we can with money, yeah? Look for someone else again. If somebody else can do that, then call us, please. Tell your wife to call me. Let's see if he can take, if you get someone that can take 50,000 naira and do that one for you, as long as you know you will respect the bell and you won't go and mess up and come back, then we stand. We can give the person 50,000 naira and the person can stand. So you can go. Because when you got that healing, God wants you to go out there and use your testimony to set people free. He didn't want you. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't need that. God didn't ask you to get, God didn't give you that, uh, that miracle for you to come and sit down inside prison. He gave you a miracle for you to go and start to share the testimony. If you are not willing to share testimony, your freedom is not coming home. The truth is this. Many of you are here because you are not willing to testify. How can I tell them I'm a bad boy? I was an armed robber in Benin. I was like, how can I share that? No, I'm sharing my own. Why won't you share your own? He said that whoever son of man said free is free indeed. Yeah. If you are free indeed, then feel free to share your testimony. Because the Bible says that we overcame those animals by the blood of the Lamb and the, the words of our testimonies. We love not our life unto death. So share it. Don't like begin to love yourself. Who are you? Are you loving yourself? Don't love yourself. Just love Jesus. That's it. Eh? Tell people who you were, who you was, eh? who you used to be. 